Let's go live. What's up, everybody? DTM here. Delta Tango Mike, and uh, this is uh, the Tuesday stream. Usually, uh, I stream on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesday. So, uh, welcome to another stream. Let me take this off and get right into it. So, yesterday, we went over a lot of the um, pr uh, process and workflows for working on uh, making a game win vector art but it starts with um sketching a lot of sketching a lot of character art and before i start sharing my screen and going into other things uh let me double check and see what i gotta need to pay attention to uh it's done okay we got that and this right here okay good um then i want to show you uh the book that i was talking about yesterday and i did share, share it on screen and I even uh, went online to find it. It is the Masters of Anatomy. There's a whole series of these books. And basically, it provides um, resources on how to draw character art for different uh, art styles and body styles and so on. And, uh, and this is a couple pages right here. Right? It's a big, big, thick book. It's over 150, uh, 130 famous artists and... 800 anatomy turns. I don't know what that means if there's like counting each one image uh, each one uh, Drawing as a turn or whatever, but anyways it's, it's thick. It's a big book. Okay. It's a big book Then I also want to show you a couple other books that if you are stepping into the art life and uh, want to grow in uh, in in the arts and uh, understanding the industry, then you need to understand your place in the industry and in uh, some of the information that's out there is easily accessible. Uh, here's a book called uh, What They Don't Teach You in Art School. And uh, I think I got this book off a of Kickstarter. Uh, Will Terry interviewed a dozens of artists. Let me see. Let me see some pictures or names. Oh, there's some. Uh, uh, it's it, it, <laughs> something just pulled up, came up. How can I develop my own brand? Boom. Like, ah, I need to, I need to read this book. In any case, it has, um, different artists talking about their experience and the stuff they go through. There goes some, some artists right there. Eric Doddles. And, uh, let me see if there, there goes, uh, Mary Grand Pre. I, I'm just saying the name, how I think it's pronounced. I don't know. And so there's a lot of great info out there that you want to pay attention to. And, uh, and some of it is in the form of books. Uh, some of it is in the form of YouTube videos and, um, and blogs. But you got to get informed and you got to find the resources. And then the next book I want to talk about in the last, before we jump in. Talking about anatomy yesterday. I was going over uh, my gorilla and I'm going to get back into it. And that's what I'm going to draw today. But I'm not sure with you a few other things that I've been working on with this game. However, um, anatomy, right? So this is called Marvel Anatomy. And uh, and basically, it, it, it breaks down the anatomy of different Marvel characters, right? Drawn and uh, illustrated by uh, Jonathan Loeb. I mean, Jonah, Jonah Loeb. And, uh, and so it, it gets really uh, deep into um, some parts of an anatomy that refers to superpowers and, you know, uh, basic uh, elements of, uh, of a uh, character. Here goes Thanos. All right. All right let's look at that. Oh, that dude. That dude is, is crazy. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's insane, right? And so this is a deep exploration and um, beyond basic anatomy, but that's what... But that's what it requires that you know. You must know your anatomy. You must know. I hate to really stretch this book out, but it's, it's such a big, beautiful book. This thing is huge. I think it was like uh, over $50, and it came damaged from Amazon. But it's still okay. It's still a good book. In any case, um, the point is that you must understand basic, basic anatomy so that you can then do amazing work like this. And... Uh, and Jonah is working on another project with a little uh, skeleton character, and it's so cute. And he's able to make that character look so cute and amazing, and uh, <clears throat> still look like a skeleton, and still look like a little little person, because uh, his um, knowledge 
and mastery of anatomy. So, yes, it's very important that we understand um, the foundations of art and drawing so that we can apply them and then go beyond them. What's up, PJ Cassell? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming through. Appreciate you. If you're out there watching this right now, leave a comment in the chat. Let me know what you're watching this from. <clears throat> and what part of my process interests you? Check out the art to-do list down below. And oh my gosh, it's is it uh it's not easy. It is a not a easy um list, but I'm working through it and I'm drawing through it. I am drawing a couple projects at the same time, and uh and so it's keeping me on my toes, uh, hopping between projects. And that's okay because what I like to do is uh, work on different projects at the same time so that I don't get stuck. Sometimes, you know, you feel like, oh, my gosh, I got to draw this again. I got to look at this again. And uh, and so by working on different projects um, on different days of the week, then it helps me uh, stay fresh and active on the ready for the next thing. So here we go. Uh, Adobe Fresco, let's go ahead and open it up and catch up on what we left off in yesterday. So yesterday, um, I, I was going over the anatomy of my character, Denominator, right? He's, he's a gorilla, and I think I didn't even mention his name. His name is Denominator. Denominator. Here he goes. Come on, Denominator. And so the well, last thing I did before we left was uh, this quick uh, front view of the character which establishing now the body type the body style the anatomy and the look which is you know and i'm, I'm seeing this right now and i'm trying not to overthink it oh uh, i know that i had a glove what did i do with that glove Ooh. i'm trying not to overthink it but i think it's um it's um that i spend a lot of time in the upper body because i like the shoulders i like the arms and very little on the on the legs. Like, what's up with the legs? Legs look a little, a little, oh, here we go. a little uh, plain. And, eh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But but that's what we're gonna go with. Especially since um, there's gonna be a lot of action in this game, and he has to run a lot. So I don't wanna make him too bulky. From the bot on the bottom, and he's a younger version. This is a young version of Denominator. So here we go with Denominator, right here, and that's what I left off yesterday. Uh, I got the skeletons, and I think I worked on the skeletons yesterday during the stream. Yes, I think I did. Uh huh. And so next is to flesh them out. Um, I've also uh, brought in some of the other versions as I progress through the style and trying to find my way with this character. Because uh, I, 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 it's taken a long time to develop this character where I feel like it's, it tells the story by the way he looks. Uh, it tells the story by the art style and the body type. And so I, I broke it all down with uh, some skeletons here. And of course, all the way on the right is not a skeleton. That's the kind of fleshed out body. But I needed to see it. I needed to see well, how... How can I make this work? And one of the hardest part is the head. Because I end up making them too old. Like here it's much older. Here I try to soften this uh, face right here. Um, by making my lines uh, curvier and not so jagged and uh, harsh. Like that one. And so, you know, it's a, it's a constant work in progress. Here he's a much a, a mid middle age and that middle um kind of adult age and here he is a young adult right here and um but he's still got that boyish look and so it comes down to the art style that you use that's going to help tell the age and period of your character <clears throat> and that's a little hard to to deal with and when when you're creating this character from scratch and i think that's the biggest uh takeaway from all of this is that this is a character from scratch there's no one no character out there like this that doesn't exist no one knows it <laughs> it's not like uh you're picking up um a, a marbles uh comic book and then it's like oh okay i know what peter parker looks like or something what was that is that marble yeah uh-huh it's uh is you you don't you don't have um a hundred years 
or whatever, 50 years or 20 years or even 10 years of, uh, of art to look at and say, oh, okay, this is the artist. This is, uh, this is the art and how it goes down. No, you, you're making it up. You're making it yourself from scratch. So that's the biggest takeaway here. All right. So I worked on that. And then, uh, and so that was what I did uh, once I, uh, uh, at, the, at the end of the stream yesterday. Once I uh, left the stream, I spent some time uh, later yesterday in working on a few other elements and organizing my thoughts because I have a list and you can see the list in the description of the video. You can grab that list and, uh, and use it yourself for your project and, uh, and follow along. If you have a, a game idea, then uh, there are a lot of basics that you're going to need to put together. And what I'm, the list I'm sharing with you is some of those basics. So <clears throat> here goes some of that list. I have to think about uh, the UI. And this is on that, on that list. Let me see what it says. Character art to-do list. Character design, which is what I worked on yesterday. Game screens, which I've shown you um, on, on, on part one. But I can go touch on that if you want to today. Uh, then UI elements, and that's what we have here. UI elements. Uh, there are levels. Also, uh, this has to get fixed because this is this is this is a different thing. There's levels. The levels of the energy bar, number of coins collected, and measure of distance traveled. So pencil marker. And so on. And so I need to, uh, so there's, uh, so this is like a coffee cup, right? And uh, let me see, where is it? There it is. That's the coffee cup. And, I, and so I have this list, a basic list in the description of this video, but I also have um, a, a much um, detailed list in, uh, the, um, in my notes. And I can pull that up in a second for you. Let me see. Where is it? And I don't know why. Uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, grab my. Let me move this over here so it's not in the way. Mm -hmm. And then go right there and right there. Boom. All right. So oh, so it's on that side. Ah, look at that. Okay, that's cool. And uh, let's fix that a little bit. There we go. That's good. Uh, let's see. DTM notes. Uh, visual artworks. Art life. Oh, it's not in here. Art life, the comic. Game development outline. Uh, what is that? That's not it. Oh, it's probably out here. here, here. What is it? Visual artworks. Uh... Where did I write it? I got to write it some down somewhere. Art Life Denominator Comics. That's the that's the issue. Yeah, that, I got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> what happened? I was uh let me think 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 think. Denominator comics, pencil wars, the comic, the game. Art Life the Game Rebel. Yes. All right, good. Whew. I knew I wrote it down. I was like, I'm not going off my memory. But here we go. This is the list, and uh, let me do, uh-huh, come on, boom, here we go, all right, let's grab the corner, so that's the list, right, and so when I made my own list, um, I got the denominator animation sprites, which I'm going to touch on today a little bit, uh, the UI elements, here's the UI elements, so UI element levels, that's what it means, okay, energy bar is one, Number of coins collected and the measure of distance travel. So that's three things. So I don't know why it says levels right there. Let me see. Yes. And so what we're going to do is uh, just move this look like this. Oops. No. Nope. Let's do it again. Levels. I'm using Adobe Fresco for my sketches because it's real easy to use. It allows you to type text. Do some sketching, and if you want, you can do some vector drawing. However, I am uh, going to reserve my vector art for the uh, Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to go straight into Illustrator. Yeah, it's going to be a little, 
little tough, but it's going to be also a little bit smoother and faster than sitting there drawing. Even though I like drawing, I kind of want to have uh, more control over the layers and the colors and the shapes. So that's that. So there it is. Energy bar. Oh, you guys can't see what I did. Anyway, so I kind of fixed my screen here. See how it has uh, the, the, the three things under UI element levels. So we have um, UI element the energy bar, number of coins, and travel pen, the amount of uh, measure of distance travel. And I don't have a good way of describing it right now other than um, just a descriptor that helps me remember what am I working on? What is this? What is this about? And so here is the energy bar. And so I have a coffee cup as the energy, right? And then it's going to be a bar. But is that how it's going to look? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe I do little um, cups. And so right now, this is the sketching phase and this is the planning phase. And so you kind of draw whatever you feel like and, and, and see how it works for you. So maybe if it was a cup. like that and it can have extra cups inside or what if it was a cup let's go like that right like that boom boom uh, 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 like this and then uh i mean that is a very big lid right uh, let's go do it again a thin lid yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. We're great, right? Drawing elements right now. And so what if it was like this and it had a, uh, it filled up like that. And then, uh, and so let's do this. Let's go selection and copy selection and then pay selection and then move it over all right and so then it can show so now i can show the, the what it means right so now so when it's when it's full it's in color empty um out black outline All right, and so then it'll had to have uh, like that, so it shows the measure. Yeah, there we go. So, so how does it work? How does it look like in a in a gas tank right here, like this? One hundred percent, seventy five percent. Uh. Uh oh, uh, you know what if we do yeah 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 uh what is it uh what does it look like in uh one quarter one half three quarters what does it look like in a gas tank when you're driving that's what that's what I want full you can say full that's right and then empty boom there we go okay something like that. <clears throat> I'm trying to come up with ways where the UI is part of the story. It tells you the information you need to know, but it fits with uh, um, terminology, nomenclature. What's the other word? With the brand, right? It, it fits with the brand. So um, there it goes. And then, uh, so that's the energy bar. So this is some ideas right here where you can have a, um, uh <clears throat> a cup right here and uh as uh as the the legend of what this bar is about and then you can have a gradient on the bar that goes high and low so that's like a half and then goes uh one quarter and there goes three uh -huh. let's try it right three quarters and then full, right? Empty. <clears throat> and so as you progress through the game and you're uh, expanding energy uh, and get hit, 
you 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 um you can see the that that bar moving or you can have a, a gauge um you can by looking at uh at the bar of um of um coffee the half full the coffee cup is i just some ideas <clears throat> i haven't decided on it what's up rb i haven't decided all the way about it because right now it's just a lot of sketching and drawing and it doesn't matter if i draw them all cuz once I am actually working in the game, I might find that I want something different. I might come up with a better idea or I'll find a way to mix them all together and get what I want out of it. <clears throat> so there we go. So that's uh, that's not that's it. That's good. That's good to have. So let's go ahead and save that. Also, <clears throat> we need a number of coins collected. So this is going to be the coin of um, that you collect along the game, right? And so, um, so it's a pencil, you know, and this is basic. Let me see. Let's change the layers. Oops. Uh-uh. That's not it. It's this one. Yeah. There we go. So just, so, oh, there you go. Boom. There you go. Like that. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Let's fix that a little bit. There you go. Bam, there goes our pencil. And so that's the coins, right? So it's going to collect coins, and we need a number, and the number is going to change, and there's going to be higher and lower and so on. So I just wrote some numbers so that I can remind myself this is going to be the the <clears throat> part of the UI where it shows how many coins you collected so far. And I just figured I'd just write something. And not, not, nothing much to think about this one. And then the measure of the distance traveled. So there's the game. And it's called uh, uh, Hill Climb. <clears throat> Let me show you what, what, what is going on here. Let's see. Here we go. There's your artworks and Hill Climb. There we go. And so the way this game works, uh, <clears throat> you're driving along. Oh, interesting. It doesn't want to. It's very tight. Okay, here we go. You're driving along, and uh, oh, it does one show. This one doesn't show the distance traveled. What about that one? There you go. That one does. And so, um, and so it shows it like this. It shows that you've gone 505 meters or miles, meters, uh, out of 800. So you know how far you are from the distance, and I guess that's what that arrow is about. I didn't bring any extra phone, so I can't really uh, test this um, and see how it works, um, what they have done to update it. But there's the gas, right? So that shows you how much energy your gas your car has. And then these are the amount of coins that you've collected. Some coins have different numbers, which I like that. I like that. And so, and I guess it depends on how fast you go that you may skip over that 500 coin and keep going, right? But So you want to make sure... You go slow enough that you get that 500 coin, but that's also going to slow you down by going up on this steep hill. So there's a few things that you have to consider when um, when uh, setting up um, the the game difficulty to get the coins that you're going to collect. And, uh, and so in any case, the, the point is that I'm looking at the UI and how they have found a way to measure these things. So, uh, let me see if I can find uh, just some more references on this game. What's up, Tavo? Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Hill Climb Racing. Uh, images. Uh-huh. There goes another one. So, there's the UI right here. So, they did make this better. Uh-huh. Here we go. And I can, can I grab that? Yep, I can. So let's take a look. Oh, it just does this. Okay. Oh, that's good. So there it is. So the so the gas tank is on the top. Uh, there's the coins, and now they have diamonds. So no distance. How do we know the distance? There goes turbo. There's the gas and the brake. And so you see these graphics and how they got better with it. Yeah, because this is uh, further along in the history of this uh, game. Let me see. What's this screen? Now oh, that's cool looking. Uh huh. No, what is this? No. A named, a named. Uh huh. Rene. 
there you go, just like that. So that way I can I can copy it. Okay, um, that's a weird looking machine. Uh, so they got rid of the distance. Oh, that's cool looking. No, that's awesome. But what happened to the? Oh, they got a truck. Ah, I haven't played this game in a minute. I didn't know they had uh, done all this. I like this game. I play this game. Uh, my phones and uh, I left all my stuff upstairs. Uh, uh, I'm just uh, so I don't see a way to measure the distance anymore. They used to. So there's uh, that one. And so they got rid of the distance and they added the, um, they added the, the diamond. See, there goes the distance on this one too. Microsoft Store. <gasps> they have it in the Microsoft Store. I can install this and play this here on this computer. No, I'm not going to do that because uh, this computer, I, I, I use it for work. But there it is. So they have the original here. And there goes the distance again. Ah, interesting. Let me see. Save image. Okay, good. Uh-huh. Go to Hill Climb. V-A-W. Hill Climb. So this is what you do. You got to do a little bit of research. And uh, I don't know if that worked. Hmm. Apps. Uh, let's go with. Uh, let me see if I can fix this. It's just. It's just not right. It's not right. What's up, pick? P JPEG. Let me see. Can I do JPEG? There it goes. Now it works. There it is. Okay, it's working. Okay, yeah, there it is. All right. So and so this is good. Like. Uh, that you got a kind of a resolution here that you can see. So gas again, um, distance and coins. So they did get fancy with it later, uh, but this is cool. I'm glad to see this and uh, and uh, oh look at that truck. I'm getting sidetracked. In any case, this is all great to see. Oh man, oh man, I need to play this game again. This is all right. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting sidetracked because. Uh, I play games on Wednesday uh, nights, and I may have to play some of these games. And that's, I think that's it. That's what I'm going to do Wednesday. I'm going to play any of these games that I, I'm using as a reference. And so uh, there goes Google Play again. Hill Climb Racing 2. Yeah, they got, they got crazy with it. Hill Climb Racing 2. They got, the, they got the fuel. Okay. The boost in the RPMs. Um, but they don't, they got rid of everything else. So let me go ahead and say that. And then this is, uh, yeah, sure. A name too. Uh, dozens of cups and tracks. So they got, they got really crazy with it. And then, uh, and so then this is the UI that you expect to see as you're choosing things. So, so good, good, good characters. Yeah. So what? that's all right. Uh, the ultimate racing team. Uh huh. So you can, uh, uh, play online, I guess, and there it is. Okay, so there's a lot of a lot of cool updates to this uh, game, uh, but I wanted to see what they have done. And so this is a picture we've seen already. They uh, no distance. Interesting. I uh, think about it and look at that. That can't be the what? They got the eight bit Android and iOS. This was uh, a year ago. They have uh, a, uh, is this a uh, retro? Uh-huh. Oops. Oh, this is crazy. Uh-huh. How they do this? Where they, how they? Retro mission. Where, what? This is literally the best update ever. This is like entering NES. Okay. So they they actually did this update in the game. That's all right. Uh-huh. So they do have fuel. You're going fast. That's the fuel. This is the distance. There's the distance. So we still have a distance. That way you know uh, like what your um, record is. Or a save point. That's it. Okay. All right. All right. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Enough to know that I haven't paid attention to this game in a minute. Cause I, uh, but I played it a lot. So how do I measure the distance traveled 
And what I want to do is have like, um, I, like these, uh, these, these tools along the way. And so once you tap, pat, go past that tool, then you're able to, um, uh, know how far you, you went. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and then you can, it's a save point and maybe you can start from there or you start from the beginning and see how far, if you can reach your last point last uh save point i don't know something like that what's up penny penny in the house all right so there's the goes the ui elements and um that i'm working on and drawing uh then i have <clears throat> art elements and so if you notice on my document uh i do have there goes the document right here i have uh ui elements there it is and then i have art elements and so i'm making sure that i write down the what this um tab is about and then um have uh what other things that i need to have in that tab and then uh coffee is the energy of course of course <laughs> indeed and so so that's good right that's the energy um that's what that measurement on the top line is for is the coffee and coffee in my cup so now here we go, those uh, art elements. Currency, all these pencils, and that's what uh, he's collecting along the way. Uh, draw on, the character gets to draw on canvas, paper, sketchbooks, and, uh, and tablets. I'm going to come up with more things that the uh, artist can draw on, uh, the character can draw on. And um, let me see, is that it right there? And um, I used to have a lot of different uh, things that I wanted to add in here. Um, maybe something like a clipboard. What about a clipboard? Like that. And this is this is in here. Yeah, that's in here. And uh, and so as you can see, another um tip is that i'm using a um a um, rules college ruled um lines here so that i can keep things in proportion because i'm gonna be um right now i'm sketching but i need to start drawing things in a proportion that they're gonna end up in the game and this is why i have brought in my character which is why it's important about making sure you understand your character and have all the um, um uh, <clears throat> um, anatomy worked out because so here's his uh his height. Yep. So he's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So each one of those is two lines, and so that's how tall he is. And so the energy as he picks it up or he runs through it, it's gonna be four out of uh, uh sixteen and stuff, right? And so these are four. That's the these are some of the. Um, Things that are flying at him. The stuff that's flying at him also that is a punch or strike. It's going to be um, <clears throat> also four. So I'm making sure that they fit inside that same dimension. As a rock. This is a police uh, light that goes on the top of their car. This is the, the cherry. And then uh, the checkpoints is going to have the drafting table, lamp, and chair. So... Um, that is going to be a checkpoint. So I haven't worked out all the details yet, but I'm drawing all these things to different ideas to make sure that, um, I have plenty of options. Uh, but basically, um, as the, as the character progresses through the city, there are going to be some of these points where you'll see the sketch, um, the, the, the drafting table, the um, lamp and the chair and um and then you know how far you've gone uh in the game and let's go like that <laughs> i just like drawing things and uh and that way um <clears throat> that becomes a saving point a save point or a measure of no yes yeah, save point or uh -huh. save point so there could be different things so this is a save point. So let's call it save point. Uh -huh. uh, background changes. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna think about that. And uh, and so I'm I'm looking at my measurements. These are my measurements so that I can, uh, when I'm drawing this uh, all of this artwork, and uh, I know like how much space I need, how much room everything needs to take, so that I can uh, keep everything in proportion. So yeah, I just getting just erasing extra extra lines because when I'm sitting here drawing. I just throw a bunch of lines in there so I can keep my head together on the proportion of how I want things to be. There you go. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. All right. Uh, so that is, uh, this is a saving point. And then energy pickup. So this is how you keep your energy going, right? Um, of course, coffee. We got to have coffee. And now I'm realizing... This is way too big, right? So let's go like this. Oops. Uh, let's see. Is it this one? Yep. Uh huh. There you go, like this. The lid is not that thick. Uh huh. There you go. That's your coffee cup. It could be a mug also, right? Or tea. Oh, what about tea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is how I just draw it and sketch it. Like, whatever. There it is. Just drawing. Uh-huh. Okay. Good. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I didn't draw a normal coffee mug, a normal... It could be tea. It could be whatever. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. All right. Art fuel, yeah, good. So there it is. I'm kidding. No board, no boing. No oh, tease. Just kidding. <laughs> Forget the tea. Um, uh, <laughs> interesting, interesting. What if I? Uh, okay, so so here's uh, gonna be a dilemma uh, for later that I'll figure that out. I already know what I'm leaning towards. What if this was tea? What if this was the tea? Uh-huh. So now we know that's T. Right? And then um this is the coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So coffee. I'm just writing notes to myself. Coffee and tea. That's the difference. And so if I go with the coffee, let's select this. And then go through copy. All right, and then go back out to this other file. Oh, uh, uh-huh. And then here's where I'm going to paste it. Paste it. You see that? This is why you got to draw things in proportion. Mm-hmm. Maybe put boo on it then. <laughs> what if, I'm just saying, thinking this now. What if people can choose what their favorite fuel is? Oh, that could be a thing. Let's let's put like a little flower or something. There you go. Yeah. What if people some people don't like uh uh they don't like uh let me see, is this it? Is this one? Maybe they don't like um coffee. Some people don't like coffee, you know, so, so let's make it tea. They get the choice. Like, do you, uh, um, are you a tea drinker or a coffee drinker? You know, and so for tea, I love tea, says Elisandra. What's up, Elisandra? Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Well, what about then a teacup? Uh-huh. So now, now we're thinking, you see? All right, so let's grab all of this and move it over. Okay. You select. And uh, what's a teacup look like? Like, like this, doesn't it? I'm just kind of drawing a uh, basic. Let me draw that again. Mm-hmm. There we go. So we got a teacup. That's right. Alessandra representing the tea. Come on, tea drinkers. My uh, art mentor, he's a tea drinker. All right. Mm-hmm. It's so much in a tea doesn't know how to cup loose. It's so much in <laughs> I, I, I I'm so much into coffee, I don't know what a uh yes, that's right. I don't know what a tea cup looks like. We don't have any tea cups in my house. We have coffee mugs. <clears throat> there you go. I, is that a tea let's see. Tea cup. Now you're making me Oh, those are cool. Yeah, I got a tea cup looking right here. That's all right. There it is. Look, look. See? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, they do have a fancy um, uh, handle. All right? There we go. I guess it could be like that. I like these. Oh, I really like those. Those are nice. That's a nice teacup. See? That's kind of what I'm going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go. Let's fix this. Let's fix all of this. Uh-huh. That's what I'm going for. All right. I'm going to go back so you can see what I'm drawing. You have a gazillion markers and text, but no cuffs. I don't think I'll ever visit your house. <laughs> no, Elisan, you're going to have to drink coffee when you come to my house. We have teas. We do have teas, uh, and I make my wife a tea, a tea cup every morning. I make uh, my coffee, and I make uh, her tea at the same time. And... Uh, that is funny, yes. So I do know, I know what teacups look like, okay? All right. And uh, and what tea tastes like. And sometimes I drink tea, especially when I'm sick. Like when I'm not feeling well, boom, there you go. And I know they have that little curvy curve like that. You see that? Uh-huh, let's fix this. And I'll, I'll get a better version of the teacup and all that. But right now, I do like how this one had those little. All right. And then it has the handle. The handle went like this. Looks like an ear. Looks like an ear. Let's go to this part. Let's go with this part. And then this part like that. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm something like that. I'm not quite convinced. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Let's fix that. Uh -huh. There you go. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I bring your own cup. <laughs> Says RB. I don't think he has tea, though. Yes, I do have tea. Uh, yeah, bring your tea, though. If you have your, oh, your favorite tea, bring your favorite tea. And we'll share it. <clears throat> and um, but uh, we do we do have uh, teas. We have hundreds of teas. My wife is a tea drinker, and so we got tons of tea. There you go. Fix that again. Let's just go like this. There you go. Make it fancy. Make it fancy. There we go. And this side is really busted. There it is. There we go. Now it's better. Sorta. 
but yeah, that could that's and so based on this uh, conversation alone, I understand that there are people, weird people. No, I'm just saying there are people who do prefer tea over coffee. There you go. Bam, some weird people. That's right. <laughs> it's weird people. Don't want to name names. Uh, <clears throat> be on the side side, write down teacup down below. Yes, I'll do teacup. I'll write the word teacup, uh, RB. You must be a teacup drinker. <clears throat> I'm going to go like this sideways. There you go. And then, look. Let's go like that. And let's take a look at this whole cup. Let's tilt it. And it needs to be. It's a big teacup. <clears throat> okay, this is good. This is good. This is why you have to work out, draw it all out. You draw it all out so you can work out to what it is <clears throat> that you're drawing and on uh, how this drawing is going to reflect in the game. You have to go through all of this. There you go. The mug. The, the mug is bigger. Ah, there you go. Uh, are you calling me weird? <laughs> All right, so there goes the UI element. So there, we worked that out. See, so now that's that's a a way of um of how we're gonna reflect um <clears throat> energy pickup. So let's go ahead and grab all of this, copy, deselect, and then go back out into the other document while I sip on my copy. Okay, <clears throat> where were we? We were down here with that. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Is that it? Yep. So paste <clears throat> is up here. And we'll let's double check. We'll see what where size is looking like. Yep. What about that right there? Yep, that's working. Okay, so I didn't make the mug bigger. So I'm going to leave this uh, right here. Sure done and then grab this uh under layer under here and move it over and then i set it right there good and now i can grab this edge and uh erase it there we go so this is how <clears throat> um the character picks up um energy and uh and so uh Better not mention the word tea. <laughs> I have an espresso and a coffee maker, says Penny. That's right. You know, coffee is like tea. Yeah, same thing. You put hot water <laughs> on it. <laughs> and so some of the things that are um, along the way, that could be medicine or that could be water. It's water. Then uh, these is uh, burger and fries, <clears throat> soda, pizza, um, noodles, right? There we go. And a sandwich, uh, peanut butter and, and cheese, uh, peanut butter and um, and jelly. <clears throat> and then some chicken wings or uh, drums, right? Some chicken. So there we go. Boom. So we have our, this is our energy pickup. And there's all the different stuff. I didn't know how to do instant rice. As uh, I remember eating instant rice. What's that San Francisco treat? Instant rice. Let's look it up. Francisco treat. <clears throat> rice a roni, that's what it was. Rice a roni. What is San Francisco treat? Rice. Rice a roni. Uh, adding a dry chicken soup mix to rice and macaroni. Interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, Raymond, uh huh. Espresso. Now you're talking. That's right, RB. He's ready. Uh, do rice like noodles. Okay, so just a bowl with the. With the uh, thank you, uh, Marcus. All right, so let's see. So you're saying I can grab this. Oh, because that's right. Because people do eat it with uh, chopsticks too, right? 
Uh huh. So copy. I say people because I don't. Uh, and then paste. I never could figure out chopsticks. And there we go. I mean, I guess I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, with the sticks. So I know how to use my pencil, but give me two, and that's gonna be tough, man. <clears throat> and uh, so I've seen people how they do, and like there's one part that goes one way, and then the other part is the one you you grab stuff, and I don't know. It's just uh, <clears throat> it, I, I have not practiced enough. That's really what it is. All right, so let's get rid of this. Let's go like this. Look, select. And then erase, right? Deselect. And then select. Erase. Deselect. Select. And erase. And deselect. So now we're going to do easy to use chopsticks. Oh, is it easy? Hmm. I don't know how that ended up happening right there like that. Sometimes I don't like it when the, the tilt does this this thing like that. Yeah, forget that, man. And uh, let's erase that. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. There you go, like it's sticking out out of the thing. Yeah. There. How's that? <clears throat> Does that look right? Yeah, yeah. They go some some rice. Got it. Good, good. And so <clears throat> um I haven't figured out the <clears throat> the distance markers, right? So measuring out the distance traveled. And so I have all these elements here. And I'm thinking that he picks them up. That he picks them up some kind of way. And I haven't figured out those mechanics, the gamification of that. And so for now, we're just going to uh, just gonna keep drawing it. And then whatever happens with it, that's what happens with it. But that's it. That's the progress so far. We're working through all the different elements, all the different things that are required in the game. And as I, and I'm working in different documents so that I can keep things organized, because as you can see, let me share my screen. It was the rice aroni. Uh, as you can see, here we go. Uh, I, I I'm, I'm I'm going down the actual list. So the character sheet I showed you earlier. We're gonna touch on the game screens in a minute, <clears throat> and then the the, um, the the sprites is was uh, was gonna take a lot of time. Ugh. Uh, and I'm gonna show you that document too. But here's these two documents that just we, we just went over right now. All right. And so as time goes on, and I work through all of these the little things, and I'm gonna start at, at working on the rest of them. And so the finish line screen. Uh, and so it's gonna have like a, a, I need to write down the ideas that I that I get storefront, aisles of uh, art materials. And uh, shopping cart, right? Register, um, uh, art stands of uh, materials. You know, you know how they have those the, the piles of art stuff, and then the supplies and the tools. So, uh, <clears throat> okay, so there we go. The art su supplies. Okay, so aisles in aisles. Okay, that's what it, it meant to do in aisles and in. What do you call those um, where you find um, stuff piled up? Excellent work, says Penny. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's um, <clears throat> like when you walk into the grocery store and then they have a pile of uh, soda cans and, and they make this big old uh, this place. This place. Art, uh, art, art supplies, uh, oops. <clears throat> and this place, and this place. This place, there it is, art display. There, finish line. Oh, okay, okay, so storefront. That's what it needs to be here. Storefront, oops, come on. Uh, storefront, um... <clears throat> city background 
This is the outside and the front. And then inside, uh, tools, aisles, and this. Aisles and displays, uh, 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 aisles full of art. Art, art tools, art supplies. And special displays. That's what we'll do. There we go. Boom. Uh, okay, so we still, and I'm going to overthink the rest and, and spend a lot of time on it because I'm not ready to draw it. And what I want to do is that when I come up with the uh, drawings, I, I start thinking of the ideas so that I have time to draw it all out. Because sometimes uh, you forget what that note was for, what, what happened there. So here's the uh, the sprites, the animation sprites in this. And then we're going to be done with today's stream. Um, <clears throat> so what I did is I grabbed and found a lot of the sprites online, right? And, and so what you do is you ask for, uh, you, you type in in Google, um, animation, uh, or you can say, um, run cycle, run cycle sprite. And, uh, and so like, this is idle. Uh, she's getting ready to run. And then this one is walking. I think this is the walking. Mm hmm. This is walking. And then that's the stopping, but, but, but they're unrelated. I just put them here together. Excuse me. But then there's the running. Pat, pat, pat. And then uh, here's the jumping, right? And so you find these re these uh, references online somewhere. <clears throat> and then here is going to be the uppercut. The uppercut is going to be, let me see what's this right here. There's nothing there. And this is the title. This is the beginning, right? Let me see. Yep, that's it. So there's nothing here. So uh, what's, what's, this is going to be the drawing. draw move because then he's gonna have his pencil in his hand he's gonna go like that right the character's gonna go like that that's the uppercut kind of like an uppercut so that's why i chose this sprite here but it's not gonna be exactly alike but i need to have a reference so that i have a starting point uh, so then here we have um the punch so of course he's got two punches because this is uh one of the um, street fighters um and then uh uh, and so when my character is punching the things that are coming at him, did we look at those? Uh, we did not look at those. We didn't talk about those. It's the, it's the bricks, bottles, uh, police baton, pot, soda can, and, uh, and then gumball, the police gumball, the rocks, and the hammer. Um, and so that comes at you. So the character has to do a different move. So he's going to do a punch. So, so if he has the pencil in front, then it's going to kind of hide a lot of the action. So I'm thinking of using the pencil because he's walking this way, the pencil on the left hand. So then he can go like this, right? And then when it's time for punching, he can go like that, but it's just his hand. He's just punching with his hand. Boom. And so, um, so that's what, uh, so that's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, and so that's why I have, but I have all of these, reference price to give me a starting point as to what I need to do. I also need to double check and make sure that I have uh, a eight, a eight piece. So they're going to be eight moves. So that's one, two, three, and then four, four. And then there's four more on the other side. Uh huh. So all of my moves are going to be four. I mean, eight, 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 all of my, Sprites are gonna be eight, eight parts. Oops, I don't even know how that happened. There you go. And whereas this right here shows uh, six, so I need to make sure it's full and complete. You know, so that's one, two, three, and four. So I need one, two, three, and four. So I'm gonna so so that way they're all eight. This one is uh, seven. You know, which is works for whatever this game came from. Uh, is this Mega Man or somebody, somebody like that? <clears throat> and so, so we got to pay attention to, um, how others have worked out these sprites and use it as a reference, a starting point so that I can then, uh, do the same. And I kind of don't like how she's over there. So let's move her right here. All right. And then move this guy. There you go. 
right there and move him over here and so there you go now what i did with these is um the way i uh, i organized uh these layers and all that stuff i did it through photoshop i opened a photoshop file on my desktop i dropped all these um sprites and cleaned it up got rid of extra information i don't need because this came from a bigger sprite so i uh I trimmed it down to just the basics that I need, and then um, I saved it to the cloud. And once you save it to the Creator Cloud, then you can open a Photoshop file in Adobe Fresco. And that's why I'm able to see it here in Adobe Fresco. And then uh, finally, uh, so yeah, that's the, the sprites. And then, uh, and so let's go back to the art elements one last time because I kind of skipped over this. There's the police baton. There's a pan that's flying at you, so he has to punch that. So he's going to have to punch, right? Um, there goes a soda can, a brick. Like, like you know, people people are, are, are mean to artists. So you're going to have to have things that are flying at you. There you go. And so the brick may have like a little piece still flying, coming off of it. There goes a hammer. Uh, there goes a bottle. Let's go like this. And you get rid of this. That's right. Because it's flying upside down. And then there goes a, <laughs> a tool. Uh huh. It's flying at him. There goes the police. This is the police. Uh, um, cop car light. And then uh, a rock. And uh, and if I can think of anything else, then I will do that. Uh, siren. That's the siren. Okay. Good. 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 I need a, I need to find a word I can use. Thank you, Penny. <clears throat> so so there you go. Those are things that that uh, this character is gonna have to maneuver and uh, navigate in the game. So so there. So so far, this is the planning part. It's still sketching, coming out with ideas, making things work out uh, in my mind and in my notes, so that when it's time to start uh, the vectors, I'm just working through it. Right, just working through it. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, what do we have here? We have this guy right here. So so the last thing I'm going to do right now before our stream is over is go ahead and throw some shoulders on here. Then we go with uh, the, um, the bicep, the elbow. See, the elbow should be around here. All right. So then let's go with the arm. Boom, and then the bicep right there. All right, good, good. This is why you draw the skeleton, so then you can. It's easy to draw this part. Mhm. Mm and then the the legs, the feet. <clears throat> it doesn't matter how how awkward he stands. It just just dry. You have to dry. You have to get it done, man. You, you can't sit there and overthink stuff. You can't. You know, we had an art class uh, uh, this past weekend, and we have regular uh, drawing sessions. <clears throat> and uh, and so we were drawing um, using uh, references. Um, what was it? Oh yeah, we were using. Uh, online poses, right? There's a couple websites where you can find some poses and, and draw the line of action or, you know, uh, the figure drawing. And uh, and so there was a, a sword. A character had a sword. And so um, one of uh, the, the uh, artists in the, at the session, he's like, uh, so how would you draw that? Would you use a stencil to get that curve? And I was like, I guess you could. Or you could just draw it, you know. And, uh, and, and and the easiest, best way to figure things out is to try it first. You know, don't think about, well, how could I do this? What would I do? What, what would happen? Well, you kind of might figure that out when you do it. And when you do it, you'll be like, oh, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> I got it. It worked out. You know, uh, yeah. So I encourage people to just try stuff, man. Just do it. Just do it. And let's see what happens. There you go for now. Look, don't overthink it. I know I know this is right here. I'm saying don't overthink it. And then there's, like, I'm not happy about that hand right there, but it's all good. 
<clears throat> just make sure things line up. They kind of are on the same level. Things are where they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not good with toes. Well, he's not going to have his feet out. You know, he's really going to have uh, uh, shoes. He's going to have shoes. So so what does it matter if the toes are correct? Because gorillas and monkeys have uh, 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 the feet are like a hand. They, ha they have uh, they have the, the thumb or a fat finger uh, off to the side. They don't have a fat finger, fat toe. They have a, a, a thumb. <clears throat> but, you know, that's going to sit there and, uh, and try to analyze, well, how could I, you know, figure this out? What can I do? As a matter of fact, today I saw on uh, Twitter or Facebook, uh, somebody posted some um, a comic, some pa comic pages and it has a gorilla on it. And I was like, oh, snap, I like how they did that gorilla. That's all right. Um, yes, I'm looking at it right here. And they don't have the toes. No, because it's uh, in that, but they, because uh, it's hiding. <clears throat> behind some text and but i do see where the the toe is sideways so the toe is sideways and that's correct so that's that's the that's the big toe um so i guess i could do mine like that but i'm not gonna sit there and have to figure it out there it is that's it oh it just came came together it's like oh yeah why don't i do the toe like this there you go. See? Boom. So, yeah, but that looks strange. Like, uh, let's just go this way. We're going to leave it like that for now. Um, There. So, there's uh, the next guy. And then um, there goes the neck. And I kind of just did this opposite than I usually draw. I usually start with the face and the head. But, you know, let's go like that. There you go. You're gonna have three. I want three. I want three little lines right there or something. So this is the part where I like doing the lower or the higher. I kinda like doing that one like that. See? Boom. Bam. There goes the ear. Is that correct? That's too high. So let's go here. Alright, good. Alright, nice, nice. So there it goes. And then uh, the nose, the eyes and the nose are similar. Boom. Oh, my gosh. It's coming out. Oh, it's coming out. There it is. Boom. Wow. But if I sat here and thought of it too much, then I end up not doing something right. You see that? There you go. So the head, the shoulders are too far uh, forward something's not right and I think the head needs to be a little bit forward that's what it is uh, this part right here I don't like either this right here this distance is not right so let's do this let's go let me see is that better is that the same height that's too high And uh, it needs to be right there. There you go. Bring that up. Up. There you go. Got it. Oh, I need it. I thought I changed it. There we go. Uh huh. Boom. This is why you sketch. This is why you sketch a lot. I'm sure sketch a lot. Because you want to work out all the little things first. You need to work out all the little things. And this shoulder can be a little bit further back. So he's not like 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 this. He's he's standing still. And I have a, a nephew, and he's got this body type right now. He's, uh, and, uh, the young, young adult. There goes. I'm not gonna write the tattoo. I'm just gonna put a spot on it for that. There it is. Bam. And then slowly, little by little. So where are we? Let's see. Yep. There it is. That's it right there. Turn that down some more. And uh, is this it right here? Yep. That's those. So turn that down some more. And there we go. Bam. Ooh. Okay. It's sort of kind of painless. 
And that's because the more you draw, the better you get at it, the easier it becomes. Oh my gosh. And that's it. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for hanging out with me. I am DTM Delta Tango Mike. Join me every uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 10 a.m. Tomorrow I'll be back. And I'm going to stream to Instagram tomorrow. So make sure you follow Vector Maestros on um, Instagram. And that's what I should have wrote. I, I changed. I didn't change my hashtag. Ah, 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 ah. It's called Vector. Let me do it now. Maestros. That's on Instagram, and uh, this is why I stream Vector Maestros. I stream to the YouTube is uh, through Vector Maestros, so check it out. Make sure you follow, like, click the thumbs up, and let me know what you're working on, Tammy, or join us in the Discord. We have a Discord in the, in where you, uh, everybody likes to post their work in progress and post questions about what they're working on and how we can... Um, support each other so i am dtm delta tango mike thank you penny rb marcus elisandra now we know elisandra is on the t side so and and hello thank you pj when it, when the game is ready well elisandra is going to pick the t side we're going to pick the coffee side mm, that is a good little competition right there anyways <laughs> until next time i am dtm delta tango mike and i'll catch you on the flip side peace out